Hello, and welcome back to Clinically Speaking. This is the second of two videos addressing cardiodiabesity, a trifecta of comorbidities, including cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and obesity. Today, we'll take a deeper dive into weight management, and specifically GLP-1 medications, which present complex challenges for plan sponsors. We'll focus on strategies plans can take, including benefit design, utilization management, and patient support. GLP-1s are a category of medications that have been used to treat diabetes since 2005 and were found to have the side effect of weight loss. In 2014, the FDA approved the first GLP-1 specifically for weight loss for people with a BMI of 30 and above or a BMI of at least 27 with one weight-related comorbid disease. That's more than half of the U.S. adult population. Recently, Evernorth commissioned a third-party research initiative to understand the patient journeys of those seeking weight management therapy with GLP-1 medications. We discovered three common pathways that lead people to this point. Some experience rapid weight gain after a life event, such as a medical emergency, a physical injury or accident, or an emotional family situation that becomes a barrier to maintaining a healthy weight. Others experience slow onset. They may have been able to maintain a healthy weight as a teen or a young adult, but as life gets busier, they age, their metabolism slows, their weight becomes harder to control. They may end up with prediabetes and resolve to make lifestyle changes, but then a few years down the road, they find they're unable to return to a healthy weight. Lastly, there are those who struggle with weight their entire life going back to childhood or even birth. They may have tried every diet and treatment under the sun with no success. Now, they are turning to what some suggest is a miracle drug, especially in social media and online. A revealing insight from the study is that participants were hyper-focused on weight loss as the ultimate measure of success. They had diabetes, hypertension, and or heart disease, but they were not necessarily focused on controlling blood glucose, blood pressure, or cholesterol, even though that could give them the greatest chance of preventing limb loss or heart attack and extending their life. Rather than looking solely at weight loss, plans must define the values and outcomes that they're seeking for the populations they manage and then help patients achieve them that requires navigating around three distinct decision points. The first is benefit design. Based on the outcomes you're looking to achieve, does it make sense for your plan to include coverage for GLP-1 weight loss medications in your benefit? The second is utilization management. Making sure that those individuals who will benefit from these drugs, such as people with obesity and diabetes and well-controlled blood pressure, can access them without cost share being a barrier. At the same time, for those individuals with a BMI of 27 who do not have diabetes or cardiovascular disease, driving to alternate treatments may be preferred. The third component is patient support. 10 years ago, people undergoing bariatric surgery needed coaching, social support, and behavioral health management. They needed to get their conditions under control. Without that, about 20% gained the weight back. In our early data, we're seeing similar patterns with using GLP-1 medications specifically and only for weight loss. In 2022, we saw more than 30% of people discontinue these medications early due to side effects, costs, or a lack of response to therapy. How do plans identify adherence issues and make sure that they're reaching out to engage and connect patients with the appropriate level of service? There's no one-size-fits-all strategy. Plans must consider upstream access, which involves benefit design and utilization management. They also need to look at downstream support, such as making clinical tools and resources available to patients to help them achieve their desired outcomes beyond weight loss alone. Thanks for joining today. We'll be back in the coming weeks with more Clinically Speaking. Be sure to sign up for weekly news, insights, and updates at evernorth.com. Until next time, make it your choice to be healthy, be safe, and be well-informed every day.